What's up YouTube? This is Fit to Fight 84 and today we're going to be going over a little bit over nutrition and nutrition in regards to carb cycling and why it's effective or why it's important or why you should even give it a try in the first place. Well, really what you want to look at when you're looking at carbohydrates is how many do you need? Um, are you going to be needing high glycemic index, medium glycemic index, low? timing things of that nature so what you want to look at in regards to carb cycling carb cycling can be effective if you're trying to lean up or if you're trying to gain mass the reason why it's effective is because you're going to go from steady days of low or in some diets no carbohydrates to a medium day into a high day which a lot of bodybuilders physique competitors or athletes refer to as refeeding so the typical carb loading cycle looks like this. You would go several days low. Low would be anything from 50 to 100 grams of carbohydrates, depending on your physique or depending on what your actual goals are. So you'll go those three to four days low. Then you'll have a medium day, which will go anywhere from 150 to 200 grams of carbohydrates. And then on your high day, your refeed day, basically to keep anabolism going and to keep your body in a thermogenic state, you'll go high. High will probably be about um, 250 to 300 grams of carbohydrates and you go back to another steady state low to keep those insulin levels um, stable and to keep fat burning and fat utilization at its highest point. And another thing about carb cycling is that it's effective at depleting the glycogen levels within your muscles and within your liver. Once they're depleted, your body has to use fat for energy especially if you keep your protein intake high and your fat intake high. So again, you can see how it's very beneficial for anyone really trying to alter or transform their physique. This is Fit to Fight 84.